your girl try carrier try for short try to remember and we are on day 29 of 30 y'all we made it to day 29 for those of you who are new here every day for 30 days i have been uploading a video so go and check those out today is day 29 so 29 days straight your girl been at it on youtube and shout out to my new subscribers welcome thank you all so much for tuning in with me for subscribing and for getting those views up i really appreciate you all so let's go ahead and jump right into it today's topic y'all So today we're discussing how to go after the life that you want, not being afraid to create the life that you want. And I know that this sounds like so cliche, you know, we hear it all the time and y'all excuse the roots, but yeah, we rocking this style too. We can't anymore. <laughs> but anyway, y'all don't be afraid to go after the life you want don't be afraid to create the life you want i know it sounds cliche we've been hearing it so much more in the media like all oh, manifest and this and that but for real for those of you all who really are at like a crossroads and trying to figure out okay like i want to do this uh, but how do i get there like I have this goal, but how do I put the steps into place in order to reach that place or that goal that I have? Um, you know, I've been wanting to get into this. I've been wanting to get into that. But how? That's one question that like I often ask myself is how. And first tip I would say is we've said this before, but having some type of journal or some type of place where you write down the things that you want is so key write the vision make it plain y'all it is real write the vision and make it plain it's something about when you put it down on paper then also go back and reread it and saying it out loud you're putting it into the atmosphere you're making it more tangible it's not just an idea in your head now it becomes something more tangible and then when you speak it 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 gathers energy towards it this is something that has worked for me and this is a technique that i have used is to write it down and you know, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to get a fancy journal. You don't have to get something fancy, y'all. It can be on a, a note card, like somewhere where you know that you are going to see it and be able to access it. Another way to be able to create the life that you want is sometimes we have to go through a space of isolation and I say isolation in the sense of sometimes we have to just kind of retreat within ourselves to even see what it is that we want. 
because with all the noise, all the outside chatter, sometimes we can get kind of foggy on what it is that we actually want to create, what it is that we actually want to see come to fruition in our lives. So sometimes you have to kind of get in that solitude mode you know solitude is a more peaceful state a more state of understanding um higher consciousness you want to get into that space of solitude y'all i'm telling you solitude is a beautiful place to be and it might look different for you for some people it might be two weeks some people it might be two months some people it might be two years okay but whatever that looks like for you, you have to decide that, you know, no one else can decide that for you. You decide how long do I need to kind of just step away from things and whatever stepping away from things look like moving. OK, going as big as moving. But then some of us don't need to move because sometimes moving can be like you're running from something. You're trying to chase something else. You're always running away from something. Um, some of us need to stay exactly where we are, but just get into our own little zone, our own little lane, you know, maybe getting off social media or, you know, not going out every weekend or not going out for a certain time frame. Whatever your solitude looks like for you, do it. Because when you get into a place of solitude, that's when you really start to be with yourself and your own thoughts and really can ask yourself what is it that I want without the all the outside noise and all the outside chatter and then the third tip I would say I know I'm doing this y'all I'm just talking with my hands the third tip um I would say in order to create the life that you truly desire is to get into a space of um acceptance like when we begin to like appreciate and accept what we have we make room to get more we make room for greater now because some some people are like just negative nancy's like and if your name is nancy excuse me like i'm not it's just you know you know, just using the phrase, but some people always look at the negative. And if you're that type of person, like I know as you get older, it can be easier to be pessimistic because it's just like, you look at everything that's going on in the world and it's just like, you are in disgust, like, oh my gosh. But if you get into a place of acceptance and showing gratitude of what you have, at that moment you literally make room to open the floodgates because you're walking in the energy of gratitude you're walking in that spirit of gratitude so more comes to you to make you grateful for so um those are the three tips that i would say in order to create the life that you truly desire y'all like it's time for us to really move into a new era especially for those of us who are going into our 30s okay it's time for us to move up it's time for us to elevate it's time for us to gain more consciousness and start to really take ownership of this life y'all we are the leaders we is us like time out for waiting for everybody else is us you know, so it's time for us to do it. And in doing that, we have to first have that self-reflection and really have that understanding of who we are and to create that space in that life that we want. Now, you know, when I say create the life you want, like, yeah, okay, I'm sure many people want to be a billionaire, y'all. Many people want to have this and have that, have that. But I really implore you to think about, like, let's get back to, like, some of the basic things, some of the simple things in life, because I feel like that's lacking right now overall in society, you know, especially, like, American culture, like, it's like this, that, flashy, now, don't get me wrong, course luxury I also promote luxury as well on my channel but I also promote you know common life too so it's having that balance 
Balance is definitely key, but you have the tools in order to create the life that you want. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Y'all, it's really our time. So let's get up, let's rise, let's shine, and get to the grind. Peace. See y'all tomorrow.